that. You can't see it. It's the main recreation. From the small town of Fulton, Illinois, Justin and James are two incoming freshmen taking a campus tour. They're from a small town of only 4,000 people and are taken back by the large NIU population. What's up? Um, Fulton's really tiny, so coming here, it's a, it can be a little bit overwhelming, some how big, of it. How big is In front of it is Cole Hall, which is closed right now. In between On a campus tour, though, passing by Cole Hall is inevitable. These parents are comfortable sending their kids here even after the February 14th campus shootings. They wonder if other parents and prospective students may feel otherwise. Sometimes there is a little bit of a after effect where enrollment could be down, but I'm sure it will, uh, as time goes on and, and uh, you know, no incidents happen. Uh, I'm sure the enrollment will go back to normal. But that is not the case for NIU, as enrollment is exactly where it is supposed to Our be. Our admissions are very similar to the, how they were last year, and we, we continue to, to, to expect that they will be very similar to how they have been in the past. Last semester, the admissions office missed their enrollment goal by only 14 students. So far, they expect this semester's numbers to be just as close. I had a lot of support, a lot of empathy, a lot of calls saying, we're thinking of you, is everybody doing okay? Um, and the next question is, so when do I need to have my transcript in? Uh, what are the next steps? When's orientation? When's housing information? Even with so the shooting, this spring shut. semester reported less students withdrawing than previous semesters. As for these future freshmen, they were accepted to NIU after the February 14th shootings and without hesitation still decided to enroll. Um, it didn't change my opinion at all. Uh, there's been problems like that through the whole United States, so can't let something like that shake you up. At the NIU campus, this is Christina Voynich, NTC News.